What's up guys, Grim here. We're going to be going into the Nightmare Tide. I hope you guys are excited for it because the NDA has been lifted for some of us content creators. Well, all of us content creators now because the only person that got to show any 3.0 footage before now was Seton. And that raised the ire of a lot of Rift YouTube content creators. Basically, we were all told that we could not post any footage at all of the new expansion even though we had access to it and we really wanted to make YouTube videos or live stream it or whatever else and we were told no. It's under NDA. There is... That's the rules, guys. Okay, cool. Well, all of a sudden a video comes out where Seton is getting a one-on-one -on -one tour of the nightmare tide lands by a developer for his youtube channel so all of these other youtubers and content creators came out of the woodworks and was like that isn't cool tryon that is not cool i don't like getting into all that stuff i i really don't even post on the forums because i hate all the bickering i hate the uh the negative opinions you get from people and stuff like that so I pretty much avoid all of that but I had to chime in because the walkie was uh, really just saying what a lot of us were thinking and whenever Seton was making snide remarks and stuff it, it, it was just natural for us want to uh, defend the walkie but we're going to go into the Nightmare Tide because all of that arguing that happened on the forums, hey, it got all of us to get the NDA raised to where we can all start creating content and not just Seton. All right, this is the passage here that you're going to use to go into the Nightmare Tide. As you can see, the plane of water is here added to the map. So we're going to go right into this and... As you can see, we got destination to pick right here, which is the Luminous Passage. And that's going to be the first area that we're starting in in the Nightmare Tide. All right, here we are, guys. As you can see, a jellyfish, a jellyfish, and then we've got the big gate right behind us. And this is, for most of you, known as the Infinity Gate, but this leads right into the Plane of Water. And as you can tell, this is a lot of swimming, but they've kind of made it to where it's not as punishing as you know from other games. I'm a big Dark Age of Camelot player back in the day, so whenever they released the Trials of Atlantis and there was a lot of swimming, it was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Players did not want to move extra slow in water. They did not want to have to buy water breathing potions all the time. It took a lot of money. It just wasn't fun at all. Everybody hated the expansion. It was a terrible thing. So the developers of Rift have voiced that they have heard our concerns on that front. And what they have done is they added this buff right here, which makes you attuned to the plane of water. And it grants increased swimming speed and underwater breathing. So no potions to buy and drink in order to breathe underwater for a long period of time. And your swimming is all faster. Look at this. This is, I think this is pretty much just as fast as I run on land. So the only adjustment that you have to make is the up and down. You know, that's that's where a lot of players are going to struggle whenever it comes to targeting something, such as if I want to target this jellyfish, you have to make sure that you're the right up and down, you know, what is it, X and Y axis. So that's what you have to get used to whenever getting into this plane of water. Luckily, people like me can charge at the targets. That way it makes it a little bit easier to do this kind of stuff. But range classes are definitely going to be the classes to play in this water element. So let's see here. We've got NPCs all around. I've done a couple of the quests, so... A lot of the quest givers may not give quest. Uh, you won't see them, but these guys tend to give quest. Maybe not the merchant, but 
yeah, some of the other guys, you accept quests and it's basically just running around doing uh, errands and stuff like that. You may have to go down here and collect some shells. You may have to go up there and kill a couple of those guys. Uh, it's just a lot of stuff like that that it is pretty normal questing in an MMO. But let's see what this merchant will give. Oh, look, another beta tester right there. Level 60 high elf. How are you doing? All right, so what do we got here? We got uh, Nightmare Instant Lures. This is for you guys that love doing the, the riffs. So let's see what else we got. Reagent required to charge power-ups in a Nightmare Rift. Hmm, okay, so it's going to take a reagent to power up the stuff instead of just planar charges now, it sounds like. So... Skips a nightmare, one rift, ten stages. Only skips stages between stage one and fifty-five. What? There are there are more than fifty-five stages in a nightmare rift. Okay, you PVEers are gonna have to figure that one out because whenever I did some rifts, there was only a few stages of it. And that stuff was not anywhere near fifty-five. But we're going to swim on ahead and go into the other areas here. As you can see, we're finally getting into some attack on sight monsters here. And we're going to try to avoid those at the moment because my gear is Relic Myrmidon gear. So this stuff is really easy for me to kill. But it's just a, just a hassle whenever trying to take this tour. So let's move on along here some more sharks and fish people there are likely going to be a lot of that going on all right now this is the threshold that we were looking for this is where the nightmare tide kind of takes a interesting turn because here you're in the plane of water but as soon as we pass through this wall it's going to make gravity take hold as you can see, there is a big wall of water there that is... Okay, there goes my graphics. I normally have my graphics turned down for PvP, so if everything isn't looking as nice as it should, I apologize. But yeah, there goes the whole wall that you come through, and there are a lot of these all throughout the zones. You're going to be swimming at one point, and then going through the threshold wall and falling onto dry land, so to say. And there are still fish people and everything on this side, such as you can see the tide collar there. And it's a lot of quests dealing with merfolk, even if you're on the dry side of things. So we're going to try to mount up here and add a little bit of fire steed into this water zone. Now I have looked around and I have tried and tried to find some PvP stuff in here as in gear or something. But right now it appears that none of that is released yet. So I cannot give you guys any good PvP details. All I can show you is the PvE environment and exploration right now. Now as you can see there's more of the threshold wall there that you could fall through. And it's all around us and even above us. So there are, there's a area above that you can normally swim across the zone and then you can fall through the bottom of it and land in the ground, onto the ground below. And I use that for a lot of my traveling because up there currently there is no monsters. So if you're going through a area that is very thick on uh, NPC monsters, then you can just swim right over all of it. I don't know if that's going to be the way it's going to be from now on or if that's just a temporary thing that they're going to change around as it gets closer to release time. But that's what we're doing right now. As you can see, we have a idol of squalls here. And that's most likely going to be much like the footholds that you're used to in uh, the normal rift lands. And then we have plenty of rifts here as you can see. Oh, don't fall. Come on. You can jump up the hill. All right. Let's see if we can 
Yes, we can get through here. And as you can see down there, a rhymed walker, a channeler, and it's many, many sea folk, so to say. So it's it's going to be a lot of dealing with people with fins and gills. So now I can tell you that once we go into the tundra, which is another zone that I can show off, it is all 65 level mobs and those things hit like a truck on level 60s. Even though my gear is absolutely awesome for, uh, for PvP, it transitions kind of well over into PvE to where I can fight a lot of these monsters with absolutely no problem at all. Even going into like the 63, 64 level mobs, it was not much of a problem. Uh, but the 65 ones get to where they hit pretty hard and you're going to see that in the upcoming video but right now i just wanted to give you guys a quick little little tour of what's going on here oh we did not get into the wrong area did we okay we're still in the reef Whew. okay i wanted to make sure i didn't get to a land where the nda was still in hold but i will give you guys a quick view of the map real fast even though i can't really show you the the lands over here, I can, uh, we are going to be going into the Tarkin Glacier in an upcoming video. And right now we're exploring the Gaboro Reef. And I hope you guys are taking part in my giveaways because I am giving away the beta keys and I want you guys in here joining me into the Nightmare Tide. Now, as you can see, this thing kind of spins around and fire uh, blows fire out. Well... It's got an insane radius on it. So if I get much closer, I may get hit by it. And it's a, it puts a dot on you as well. The flames will keep eating. Whoa, 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 whoa. The flames will keep eating at you long after you're running away from that thing. But I'm going to show you guys the in. Oh, yeah, that's where we're just at. Let's go ahead and activate that. Okay, we went ahead and activated this portal. As you can see, the portals are a little bit different here. Alright, we're going in here. Hopefully this thing doesn't blow flames onto me. And we're going to head into the Guile Fortress here. And hopefully we don't get mobbed too bad as I'm showing you around. The pathing is a little bit off on the mobs here, so we should be able to survive without too much problem. But really, I'm just trying to... Sh oh, we jumped off when we shouldn't have. Dang it. No mobs on me. No mobs. Nice. Okay, the pathing is a little bit messed up right now with the mobs here, but it's still in beta. They're still uh, fixing up things and uh, trying to get everything ready for release relatively soon. Uh, let's see here. I will show you how the pathing is messed up. I've already reported this as a bug. All right, we're going to pull these guys down here and then we're going to say drop off guys. Whoa, not me. Dang it. I wasn't supposed to drop off. But we'll go up here like this and just run around and all the mobs fall down there. So that pathing issue is definitely going to be fixed soon. It's just <laughs> right now it's still in the early stages, but most of it is all fixed up. Uh, everything is getting all the mobs put into place and the zones are being finished. There are some unfinished stuff, but they've got some time to work on it. And uh, all the little padding issues like that will be fixed at the time of release, most likely. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Oh, the guy's coming through the ground. Now, as you can see over there, it will be the edge of the zone. And you will fatigue if you go out into those waters much from the beach. So even though the whole plane of water is all about swimming and being one with the water, yeah, if you go out into those waters, it will kill you. So don't go swimming too much. If you fall off the cliffside or something like that, uh, as long as you stay relatively close to the beach, you should be fine. But there are areas that even if you're close to the beach, you will take fatigue damage.
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of exploration through the Gaboro Reef and this is one of the first looks at the Nightmare Tide for you all. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little adventure and we will be going into the Glacier area coming up and that is all level 65 mobs so I'm going to have to be bobbing and weaving to keep from dying because every time they hit me is like... 10,000 damage something like that so it doesn't take too much even with me running around with 68,000 health or so in the future I'll make sure to have the graphics kicked all the way onto ultra settings so you guys get the full effect I wanted to just run through all these zones uh, this zone here really fast to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek and we'll go more in depth into some of the questing and stuff like that as we go along I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as usual, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.